Good day, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to put in an IBM Selectric 3 number 210 ribbon with the uh, arms attached to the cartridge. It's the version they use on some of the Selectric 3s, not all of them. And it fits also fits this uh, personal IBM has a Selectric 3 210 cartridge. The 210 cartridge was made so it went in a little simpler. They attached the arms to the cartridge so it was just a snap and you didn't have to feed it through the arms but they also charged twice the price for this ribbon and now it's no longer manufactured so that's a little trouble. The uh, Regular Selectric 2 ribbon looks like this, and it fits most Selectric 3s too, or the Selectric 3, probably at least like, you know, 75% of the machines use this cartridge, but there are quite a few that use the 210 cartridge. So we're going to show you how to install that, but first I want to go through um, some troubles that these cartridges have been having, and one of them is this one right here. And you can see the deterioration of the carbon. It's just not its not printing right. And you can tell just by the texture that it's not right. If you look at this cartridge. And look at that. It's nice and even there. The carbon. But this one is, this is an IBM brand too. And it's all irregular and it's printing irregular and a lot of those I find are not working for this reason and then they also will get sticky and they'll, they'll break when they come out of that cartridge here when they're coming out here the ribbon is is gooey in it and it actually will break now again it's the IBM brand that seems to be trouble and then there's this trouble where this little wire, see that wire right in here? It's a tension wire and it is supposed to be, this piece is supposed to be back, back inside of here, back there like that. But it's out of its place and when that happens these don't feed. They jam up. That, that wire is supposed to be back in that position back here and these have a tendency again on the IBM ones to pop out of place and once they do that they don't like to go back so they has got three different problems they got bad ribbon you can just feel it's bad you know, it looks bad it is bad now the problem is that wire breaks and then of course they, they break because they they're sticking so most of these IBM's are not working they haven't lasted so what I would recommend is an off-brand machine or off-brand uh, ribbon and there's quite a few of them here's one and that uh, I've inspected these we bought these are they work perfect they come out of the cartridge perfect they don't stick uh, General Ribbon also had some that were made of course these are not manufactured anymore General Ribbon has these I opened these up and made sure they were good to sell they are good yet another brand I don't even know of but again they're just fine they're like perfect so most of the off-brand ones seem to be fine that's a good looking ribbon and it feeds nice and smooth IBMs don't do not do that they don't turn freely like they should okay so I've got these ribbons if you can't find them got plenty one other small thing to check when these ribbons go bad sometimes there's a spring right in here that springs these arms back you can see it down in there right right down in there these sometimes will pop that spring out sometimes in shipping sometimes these arms will come out of the cartridge like let's see if I can get it like that right here and that spring will come out you can reassemble that if it's not broken just squeeze it back in here 
and put the arm back in. Actually, I broke it, but it doesn't matter. That's junk anyhow. Okay, so just be aware of your cartridge. Inspect it. Make sure it's right. Let's show you how to change this ribbon. It's very easy. At least that's one thing that's true. Okay, IBM Selectric 3 cartridge, 210 style. Move the carry to the center. Turn the machine off so it doesn't bite you in case you hit a button. All you do, like the Selectric 2's, move this red lever to the center. It's going to raise these arms just a little bit and it's just going to release the mechanism. There it goes. And all you do is pull straight up. And out. Again, make sure the ribbon is feeding when you put the new one in there. Make sure it's, well, it's not going to have any typing on it, but make sure it's feeding. You can hold the arms up a little bit even instead of being down, just even like that. And turn it with the arrow. Seems backwards, but turn it that arrow that way. Okay. When you go to put this ribbon in, first thing to note is you cannot change this correction ribbon while the ribbon's out. It locks the lever. So you can't open it. You do that separately after the ribbon's on. So let's just put the ribbon on. This one's pretty easy. You just kind of line it up. Just going to settle down on there. You just push it down. And you can just let that ribbon snap back. And if everything is right, it should be ready to go. I would type at least a line, a, a whole line there. Make sure your ribbon is turning properly and spacing properly. You can kind of look in here and see. Let me get a light. So you can look in here and look at right at the ribbon and make sure it's spacing properly right there to use the ribbon. See that? Nice and even. If I took this cartridge out, you'd be able to see it even more clearly. Nice and even. If it's not doing that, it's not right. Snap it down, close the cartridge. Away we go. One other thing to note on this, just like this electric twos, it's got this button right here. This stands for ribbon and stencil. If it gets slid over, it locks into that position. That will not let it print. You get no print out of this. It acts like a tightening, but nothing. So to resolve that is push this little button in and it's going to go back to ribbon that means ribbon and now it's typing again okay let's try the correction feature on this machine everybody knows how to use the correction don't they so you type the word the and it's wrong so you type the word the and it's an R on the end to get rid of that R, come down here, press the correction button, go back over to letter, hit the R again, it erases it, it waits for you to put the E in. So now we got the word the. Again, THR, correct the R, put the E in. There you go. Alright, let's change that correction ribbon, show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. gray lever now will move with the regular cartridge in there and it opens up this arm and it spreads this black wire right there. See that? And then all you do is lift it out of there and you can, it goes through a little fork right here and take it off. So when you get your new ribbon in your hands it'll come together like this. It'll be your new ribbon. Put the side on first, and it just goes down onto that shaft or onto that spool assembly right there. So let's separate these, and then it goes on this little through that little fork right there. It goes behind the 
the black wire between the black wire and the clear card guide and just stick it in here and make sure it's down there and when you close the lever it should kind of pull it flat and an angle and let's take a look and we'll try a correction here and see if it turns watch and see if it turns here so looks good sticking a little bit there because there was nothing to correct but we'll stick in here and try this Okay. Let's take this ball off of here. You can see how that correction ribbon goes when everything is right. So we got the card guide. We got the correction ribbon right there. And that's between this black post and the clear guide. And then comes the regular ribbon right there. So if everything's in order, it should kind of be looking like that. Let's see how it corrects here. All right, that's how you put a Flexor 3 cartridge in. I will put the uh, product number in the description below. So we know what we got here. And that's it. PhoenixTypewriter.com. Have a good day.